In this video, we're going to show you how to install bearing protection on these two different style motors using perimeter bolts. The install is going to include the EZ1 multi-fit bracket, our bearing protection kit, configured in a number of different ways for the different motors you're going to run into out in the field. Let's start by doing an install on this 184TZ motor. We're going to use perimeter bolts, so we selected the EZ1 multi-fit bracket. We took a look at the diameter of the shaft and decided to go with our IM5 bearing protection kit. If you need additional help selecting the correct EZ bracket or bearing protection kit for your motor, you can reference the legend inside the field pack kit or visit our YouTube channel for more information. To get started, we need to remember there are three connection points we have to concern ourselves with. First, that the bearing protection kit is touching the motor shaft. Next, that the bearing protection kit mounts to the EZ bracket. And third, that the access port in the EZ bracket lines up with the perimeter bolt. If this distance is too great with everything lined up properly, you may have to install the included extension bracket. That allows us to make adjustments for larger frame motors and still maintaining the bearing protection kit against the motor shaft. So we went ahead and mounted the bearing protection kit to the plate and loosely mounted the plate to the EZ1 bracket. The next step is to install the mounting clip that will actually mount the EZ kit to the motor. The clip has a universal design and can be mounted in many different configurations. Fit it up against the perimeter bolt and do the install. With the clip installed and the bolt properly torqued, I'll install the EZ1 bracket aligning the tapped hole with the through hole right where I need it and use the included hardware to make this connection. The final connection will be to make our adjustment until the bearing protection kit makes contact with the motor shaft. With the mounting clip and bracket installed, bearing protection kit fastened in place, the last step is to adjust until the bearing protection kit is making physical contact with the motor shaft. Let's bring it down until it's tight, tighten down our adjustment screws, properly torque, and remove the clip. So the last thing we do is remove the retaining clip, slide it out of the way, releasing the brush against the motor shaft. Spin the motor shaft to make sure that there are no key, keyway, anything that could damage the brush, and your installation is complete. Show the versatility of the EZ1 multi-fit bracket. We went ahead and mounted up on this C-Face motor with very limited space for our kit to install while avoiding the keyway, key, or anything else that could damage the bearing protection kit. To get this bracket mounted and adjusted properly, we had to reverse the mounting clip, reverse the plate as it mounts to the EZ1 bracket, change the way the bearing protection kit mounts to the slider here for final adjustment. The EZ1 was designed to give flexibility to make these kinds of adjustments on even the most difficult applications.